see all the people here killing fish. My ODFW is brutally scooping up sea lions for eating. Look at all this fish. With ties to that So he gets that, and I'll get buckets of fish. And the sea lions, and the sea lions get that. According to Bob DeLong, sea lion growth rates are slowing. They've seen a drop from 4.5 in the late 1900s to 2% at the current time. A lot of this is, will have to do with the El Ninos that we've been experiencing on the west coast. Bob DeLong is with NOAA's Marine Mammal Lab. It has been said that no bond exists between these animals. So what is done to one animal may not have a deterring uh, impact on another. <clears throat> and this is, this is true in the sense that these animals live in the moment and it is unrealistic to think that no bonds seem to exist. I have seen sea lions who have lost their friends up at the dam. That animal was calling out over and over and over again for a friend who never returned. The animal stayed for a week on the rocks. He wasn't eating fish. And then he left. He was shot off the rocks by the people who work at the dam. Somehow ODFW thinks catching a salmon in this soup is easy. Somehow they think it's just a friggin' breeze that the sea lions come up here and it's just one big giant friggin' buffet. Right. <clears throat> I'd like to see one human swim in this mirror and soup. catch a friggin' healthy game fish with their teeth. And you tell me how friggin' easy it is. You know, every animal that's up here eating is working very hard for their friggin' dinner. And don't let these, you know, guys in $100 loafers sitting up there in their friggin' office tell you otherwise. I mean, that animal deserves to be here. This is his aquatic habitat, not the Army Corps. In the meantime, humans get to continue to pull mass amount of fish from the river. No limits. 
but God forbid a sea lion's caught eating one of these big friggin' shad, they get on the death list when it's out in the friggin' the epitome of human greed. The epitome of human greed taking all these fish for humans and trapping and killing sea lions for eating one fish in five years. Once they're trapped and they're released, they do come back and want to haul out in the trap again. And in that sense, it's very frustrating because if they were crows, they would never get back near those traps, nor would their next generation ever go near those traps. But these animals are like dogs. They jump right back up, right back up on the couch. When you face the bitter